Hey, it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Saturday, August 24th. So we have the moon in Taurus all day, which is providing us a lot of grounded energy, a lot of anchored energy, a lot of time to really kind of orient to this present moment. We have to come back into our bodies. We've been all up in the headspace. We've been scattered between the past, between the future. Now we need to settle into the here and now. We need to be aware of our physical bodies. We have to pay attention to how our physical body is responding to some of the ideas, some of the goals, some of the dreams, some of the visions that we're currently trying to kind of percolate on in our mind space. The Taurus energy definitely slows us down. We are, again, trying to orient, to have the attitude of gratitude. We're plucking out the silver linings and we're doing what we can to make ourselves feel as safe and secure, as comfortable as possible. We have a lot more common sense kind of leading the charge now compared to some of the days especially over this past week when, of course, the moon was in Pisces right after that full moon in Aquarius. Definitely took us out of common sense, put us into La La Land, and it's very nice to come back to reality. Of course, with the moon in Taurus being a fixed earth sign and now being in Virgo season, a mutable earth sign, there's a lot of earth anchoring us down, anchoring us into this present moment, focused on the situation, the circumstances of today. And again, trying to fix, heal, resolve some issues of the past, but realistically planning and strategizing for our future. So this is a semi quiet day in the cosmos. And especially where we're kind of following up Friday, where there were 16 different aspects and it was all over the place. And there was this 12 hour void, of course, with the moon, it felt really kind of bouncy, kind of divided, if you will, there was a lot going on here Friday, we wasted no time jumping into Virgo season. However, today, we get a little bit of a reprieve, there are seven different aspects popping off here today, five of them are going to involve the moon. Okay, so we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, who of course is still retrograde in the heart and soul of the zodiac in this Leo energy. Mercury retrograde in Leo energy is helping us to replay, revise, review, reframe, restructure matters of the heart. Okay, so Mercury is coming into a sextile, which is a beautiful interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. Mars is in Gemini energy, and Gemini energy is ruled over by Mercury. So there's a little bit of an intensity here. Mercury is our headspace, although he is looking back in review and reflection. We have Mars, who is very anxious, very restless, has ants in his pants to want to take action, want to make moves to get some of this, let's call it unfocused energy out of our physical body. But in Gemini energy, we're still trying to figure out who and what actually deserves our time, our energy, our attention. The Gemini energy does have us very divided on different options, different ideas, different paths, different directions that of course we are wanting to do and pursue. But right now we are essentially motivating ourselves. We're getting focused. We're getting into a more, let's call it disciplined determination on trying to figure out again, what path, what choice, what direction we're leaning in and leaning towards so that we can make a decision and actively start working towards it. The moon is going to semi-square Jupiter. So Jupiter is the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. He is in this Gemini energy as well. Again, division on where we want to put our time, our energy, our attention. Jupiter, of course, is helping us to expand our mental plane, to expand on some thoughts, some ideas, some goals, some visions, some dreams that we were kind of excited about, that we did start second guessing, that now we're coming back to in order to figure out where it is that we want to go from here. Here's the thing about it. A semi-square is tension and conflict. And the tension and conflict here is that Jupiter has us so focused on the choices, the options of the future, that it's taking us away from this present moment, 
from the here and now, from being able to anchor to ground into the here and now in order for us to figure out what we actually want to do. So it's a little bit oxymoronic, if you will, because one part of us is very focused on deciding, on choosing, on arriving at a particular choice point to move on, to move forward. However, emotionally speaking, we don't even really want to think that far into the future. We just want to find peace, harmony, comfort, and pleasure in the here and now. The moon in Taurus then going to make a very positive interaction with the north node in Aries energy. So the north node is trying to get us on the right path to move on to move forward. It is trying to show us where it is that we have an opportunity to grow to heal to fix to repair. It is also showing us the path that we need to get on to really get to know ourselves again. This whole north node in Aries is getting us on the right path to reach our next soul's mission our next soul's purpose, which does require us to be a little bit more independent, a little bit more on a solo quest, a solo adventure for us to get to know thyself. So although the North Node is trying to get us to think about the future and the opportunities that we have to move on to move forward, and although the moon in Taurus doesn't want to think that far into the future, we are open to thinking a little bit further into the future again in order to allow our physical body to respond with some sort of inclination on what feels good, what doesn't. We have to use the emotions, the feelings, the sensations, the vibes in the physical moment to really gauge whether or not it's something we want to do or something we want to pursue. The moon in Taurus then going to semi-square Mars. So again, this is a little bit of a kerfuffle because Mars has ants in his pants. He wants to take action. He wants to make moves. He wants to initiate and jump into a brand new chapter. However, in the Gemini energy, he's very divided. He still doesn't know what he wants to do. This is about planning. This is about strategizing a well thought out, carefully thought out plan before we go ahead and waste our time, waste our energy. We have to be very sure of what it is that we're motivated to do, what it is that we have a passion to actually go after what it is that we truly desire. So again, semi-square, a little bit of tension, a little bit of conflict because Mars wants us to hurry up and decide so that we can get on with it while the moon in Taurus doesn't even care about deciding and getting on with it. We just want to find peace, harmony, and comfort, enjoyment, pleasure in this present moment in the here and now. The moon in Taurus energy then going to make a very awkward interaction with Venus. Venus rules over the Taurus energy, but of course, Venus is in Virgo energy. So this is earth on earth action. Again, bringing us into this present moment, anchoring us, grounding us very much in the present moment, very much in the here and now so that we can gauge how it is that we're feeling about some of the ideas that we're coming up with. Venus's time in Virgo energy is allowing us to analyze matters of the heart. Sounds very much like Mercury's retrograde in Leo energy as well. However, Venus is about relationships. She's about finances. She's about her overall happiness. She's also about her safety, her security, her stability in her day-to-day -day life, in her physical realm. Now that Virgo energy that Venus is in has us analyzing matters of the heart from a logical, practical standpoint. We're analyzing, we're critiquing, we're judging our physical realms, what needs to stay, what needs to go, what is working, what is not, who is working and who is not. This is again, giving us an, a different perspective on what needs to kind of, you know, be put in the past and what needs to be anchored in as far as building towards something new in our futuristic type of vision. Emotionally speaking, we are contemplating our wants, our needs, our desires. We have to focus in on where it is that again, our physical body is giving us some sort of indication, good, bad, or otherwise, on what it is that we've been thinking about, what it is that we've been planning, what it is that we've been strategizing as far as our heart space goes. Now, Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, who's in this Gemini energy, is going to sextile beautiful interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer, who is retrograde in the Aries energy that Mars naturally rules over.
So this is a sextile. This means that this is a gentle nudge in the right direction. And what we're getting with this is a new sense of motivation, a new sense of inspiration, of determination, of enthusiasm, especially where we're healing, where we're growing, where it is that this new version of self is feeling a little bit more confident, a little bit more familiar. We have a slight opportunity, maybe in the physical realm, or it could just be in the mental plane in our thinking where we have the opportunity to take an initiative, to take the lead, to take action on a certain path, a certain direction that is going to help us heal even further. Now, this could be a particular interaction where we have to kind of get our mind right, where maybe we have to open up that mind space in order to see things from a different perspective, a different point of view. Maybe this could be a physical action in our physical realms to help us declutter our environment, to help us put things in order, to help us kind of lean towards different topics and themes that again are going to help us feel better about ourselves. This is just us trying to feel good. This is us building this positive energy, this positive vibe that gives us a sense of purpose, a sense of mission. We're tapping into a new level of fearlessness. We are tapping into a new mood and an attitude in order for us to put a lot of the pain, the trauma, the wounds behind us. This is us giving a good swift kick in the butt or in the mental plane, because I feel like most of this is in the mental plane, in order for us to lock in a better narrative, a better perspective, and again, orient to the positives instead of all of the negatives. So of course, we're in this mood, we're in this attitude where we just want to fix everything, where we want to clean up, put things in order so that we can get on to the fun parts. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon and Taurus energy semi squaring again, another tension point with Neptune, who is retrograde in his rulership in the Pisces energy. Normally, we like Pisces energy and Taurus energy working together because whatever it is that we can dream of, whatever it is that we can conjure up in our headspace, we're able to bring it into reality, into physical form through the Taurus energy. However, Neptune at this point, again, has us kind of focused on the future, too far into the future with this ultimate goal, this ultimate vision, this ultimate dream that feels very overwhelming, very confusing on how it is that we would even go about getting from where it is that we're at to where it is that this particular goal would have us ending up in that again the moon in Taurus pumps the brakes it's too far in the future it's taking away from the present moment it's taking away from the good vibes it's adding a lot of pressure it's adding a lot to the do to do list and we're just not about it so again the tension the conflict is coming because again our headspace is conjuring up where it is that we want to go from here when realistically we need to be focused on this present moment in the here and now